Welcome to The Christian Atheist. My name is John Wise. I have a PhD in philosophy from the University of California. For the last quarter century, I have been an atheist. But six months ago, my life went through the looking glass. I am now, again, a follower of Christ. I am married to the love of my life, someone I never believed could exist, and Jenny was my door back to Christ. Our story is one over which I marvel, and for which I thank God each and every day. The story of my return to Christ is dramatic, filled to the brim with the miraculous. It had to be, as my path back to God was impossible for me. If you think it worth hearing, let me know in comments and I'll do my best to provide an account. For now, let me simply relate the moment of transposition in July of 2019. As an atheist, I stood before a mirror in which my self-image was settled. God was no longer a part of my thought processes, being utterly unnecessary to make sense of my world and my experience. I, however, was no longer settled. The atheist was no longer reflected. The image had changed. My carefully laid out arguments, my faith that God did not exist, had been devastated by an unexpected, sudden, and disconcerting series of events and self-discoveries. On the one side of the looking glass, I was an atheist, but on the other? I recognized my reflection in that mirror but for the first time in 25 years was uncertain which side was reflection and which side was reality. Could I again believe in God? Nothing separated me from my reflection. I was, or had been, both and neither. I had now to choose on which side of the looking glass to stand. On this side of the mirror, my profound doubts of God's existence kept me from believing but on that side, those same doubts became fascinating problems in a more expansive, complex, and life-affirming world, a world about which I had systematically lied to myself for a quarter century. As I stepped through that mirror and away from atheism, all my doubts and reasoning against God's existence came with me. I was not, and am not, a blank slate. God remains a problem for me on this side, as do facets of the Christian faith as it presents itself today. The ground on which I now stand, my faith in Christ, is settled. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. But this grounding is not unique. Everyone starts in faith. You have no choice in the matter. But what or who you choose to believe in forms the basis of your existence. Faith rules on both sides of the looking glass. It was the French existentialist, atheist Jean-Paul Sartre, who taught me that lesson. I represent this transposition of reflection and reality as though I had a choice. In fact, I don't know that I did. That moment of decision might just as well have been an acknowledgement of a fate accompli. If I am overly cryptic here, my apologies. Let me know in comments if you'd like a fuller explanation. My experience as a Christian atheist offers a unique perspective on the world and on faith. I expect in these forums to make neither side of this debate happy. I will seek truth and let the chips fall where they may. If I make no friends and only enemies, God has placed me here and now, and I wish only to please him. I gave up ideology along with atheism. I am a lover of science, all that it has discovered and the stories that it tells. I believe that the universe is probably 13.8 billion years old, as cosmologists tell us, and not 6,000, as young earth creationists assert. I do not claim to know how man, homo sapiens, arrived on this earth but I am inclined to believe that evolution is the best answer we've given so far. The answers that science tells us are compelling and evidence-driven, and Christian faith does not prevent either the search for or the acceptance of those stories. 
neither does science prevent me from discovering and reveling in the truths of the Bible and faith. I sometimes wonder, though, if other Christians are reading the same Bible I am. I am often deeply puzzled and troubled by Scripture and the picture of God it paints. I am also ill at ease with the explanations offered in explaining away those thorny issues. I do not intend to shy away from those here, but to face them head on. Nor am I always content with the Christian church, as I find it today. For instance, why tends the church to emasculate our men? Jesus was a man, par excellence. I have far more questions, though, than I have answers. I am, after all, a philosophy professor. I believe we can learn more of true substance from proper questioning than we do from merely accepting the answers readily available to us. The paradoxical, the difficult, the unresolved, and yes, the magical, the beautiful, and the inspiring. These are what fascinate me. The great error of Satan, the father of lies, was intellectual arrogance. This arrogance drove my own quarter century of atheism. Socrates taught that acknowledging our own ignorance was the only foundation on which to build a meaningful life, and the pursuit of truth its surest path. What is truth? Pontius Pilate famously asked Jesus. My error was in thinking that I could grasp the answer to that question, that I could hold it, examine it, explain it to others. But like Pilate, I had not even understood the question. Truth is not a series of propositions, but a person, a relationship, a structure upon which life can be lived. I am the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus said. It was he that I found on the other side of the looking glass, the paradoxical incarnate word of God, and he is the only thing that is non-negotiable for me. Everything else is an open question. I am a Christian with the searching and dubious mind of an atheist. I know both sides of the looking glass, and I know them with open eyes. I choose Christ's side, or he has chosen me. I invite you to join me from wherever you stand before the looking glass. First, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and let us know what you'd like to hear from us by commenting. Wise Words for Your Occasion is located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, but we're willing to travel. For inquiries or to book an occasion, go to wisewordsforyouroccasion.wordpress.com or see us on Facebook or check out our YouTube channel. You'll find links to all three in this post.